Hey everyone, first of all, thank you so much for clicking on this video, for uh, watching this video. I would like to invite you to stay all the way to the end because there's going to be a lot of uh, vital information, okay? And I just want to say my wife, uh, she had recently, uh, re by recently I mean uh, a few months now, uh, had a dream that was uh, very prophetic and I was talking to her and said, hey, would you like to share it and then we could post it in her uh, to the channel and just have everybody uh, kind of listen to it because I believe that God uses uh, his people to warn the church. Amen. And uh, as you probably might know, uh, more recently, the uh, British have uh, uh, alerted a, a warning, uh, the British government, to its civilians and act now warning to stockpile three days worth of food um, in case of enemy attack. Okay. And this is because, uh, for some reason, I believe that uh, the uh, British soldiers entered section in the uh, East uh, East Europe that I guess is considered Russia. So you know, and things like that. So things can get a little shaky. But um, yeah, I just wanted to to, to say that this dream uh, kind of lines up with that, mm -hmm. not directly, but indirectly uh, affecting not only. Uh, you know, Europe, but possibly uh, other parts of the world as well, okay? And uh, it was a very vivid dream, and so I'm going to have my wife uh, start off without any further ado, okay? All right, so as he said, it's been a few few months now, and the dream uh, was we were in this house that we, we live right now. We were here, we were sleeping, it was in the middle of the night, and then, and then we heard someone knocking on our door. Uh, and as I said, that was like we were sleeping. That was in the middle of the night. So Felipe got up, uh, went downstairs, but he didn't open the door. Um, we didn't want to open the door because someone knocking on the door like at 2 in the morning. You, you were, I guess nobody's going to open the door. So we just wait a few minutes until whoever was at the door to leave. So... After they we, we we realized that there wasn't nobody else at the door, they, they left. We were able to like look outside the window to see who it was, and we saw that it was like a truck, kind of like a army truck with army colors, like the the green type of color on the like truck. Camouflage kind yeah, of Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we noticed that it was someone that was in the truck and the truck was leaving. But we, we didn't know what that meant or why, why, why they were here or and, why they would knock at somebody's door yeah. at like two in the morning yeah you know, that's it's right. kind of random right I yeah would say. uh and then the following day we went somewhere here nearby and we saw the same truck parked somewhere and we could see that in the back of the truck they had like food supplies and they were just parked there to like distribute the supplies that they have to whoever needed so we we saw that okay i guess it wasn't anything like bad even though it was still weird someone knocking on the door at two in the morning we saw that it was a truck that was actually there to like distribute few, food um uh, to you know to the people of the city um so yeah that that was that was pretty much it and that concluded the dream yeah yeah uh, i was looking because i had i didn't want this dream to pass by without me actually recording and putting it out there for you guys so i did a quick little uh, just recording of her uh, saying what the video was pretty much unofficial and uh i believe it was i think the second i have to go back and look but the second week of january of uh, 2024 so of this year that i'm recording this video right now so when you brought this dream to me um, I was very, I thought, wow, this, it was very vivid, first of all, the details were there, and uh, I really felt in my spirit that it was a prophetic dream, and a few things popped up when I, uh, when she was telling me the dream, my wife was telling me the dream, was that, number one, it was at two in the morning or something, right? In other words, so we were caught off guard. We weren't, we weren't waiting. We weren't ever expecting anybody to knock at our door at that time. So in other words, it will happen. It happened, you know, when we weren't ready. Okay. Uh, we weren't expecting it. That's number one. Number two, 
it wasn't just anybody knocking at the door. Uh, it was uh, military people knocking at our door, okay? Which to me uh, speaks, uh, military speaks of uh, conflict, right? Battles, okay? Uh, and uh, we we're hearing of, as Jesus says in Matthew chapter 24, of wars and rumors of wars, and we're seeing it happen more and more. Uh, nowadays, and the warning that I, you know, that I just uh, told you in the beginning of this uh, video here uh, with Br the Brits and the Russians. And so that's number one. And then number, uh, I would say number two, actually, number three then would be uh, a famine. Because why would they be distributing food randomly to people? Because possibly a shortage of uh, food, okay? I actually have a video about this that I posted. Uh, months ago as well on this uh, possible famine and it's a dream that I had and I'll post it at the end of this uh, video here okay so I just um, wanted to let you guys know what this was uh, God gives uh, warning and he uses his people prophets to tell them right what's going on uh, I would say that from the bottom of my heart uh, just like Joseph did right uh, when he had, when he advised uh, Pharaoh to stock up uh, food, okay, for the days of famine, I would like to extend that to you. Um, we don't know when this is going to happen again, but you know, uh, it can be at any any moment. Uh, but uh, I would say to please uh, get some non-perishable food. You know, any place that you have at your house, place it there. Uh, you never know. Best case scenario, you know. Uh, you have, uh, or, what, or let's say best case scenario first, right? Nothing happens, you're okay, you eat the food before it expires, right? Worst case scenario uh, is actually uh, not the 100% uh, worse, I would say, is because you actually have food to go off of for, for days, okay? And uh, that's, that's what I would say. You know, the Bible says that uh, my people perish, right, for the lack of knowledge, okay? So here it is, I would say, right? And uh, warning, I believe that God is giving the church, right? If you like this video, please uh, hit the uh, like button, the little like button, share it with somebody, okay? Follow as we get more uh, revelation from God as things unfold and God, uh, you know, uses us to bring this, this message where nobody, we're just, you know, a tool that uh, we're willing to, to use, be used by God, okay? And please also follow me in all the other social media, as you see popping up here, okay? Uh, and then there, I also use those platforms uh, to uh, engage with uh, people of, of the church, all right? Again, thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Until the next video, and that's it. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.